Oh my goodness, look, there's a lot to discuss here today, but when you're talking about record breaking, Rafa Nadal, my goodness, uh, just re announced his retirement. Mm. I've just been watching his, uh, the, the way he announced it on X. He's saying it was such a difficult decision. Just uh, talk us through it because this is a big one for the tennis world. Yes, indeed. Those uh, players that have formed the, what, the last 20 years of elite men's tennis. Uh, Roger Federer retired. Andy Murray uh, retired. Novak Djokovic attempting this week to win his 100th career ATP Tour title. And Rafa Nadal now saying that he will retire in November after playing for a final time uh, for Spain in the Davis Cup finals, which are taking place in Malaga uh, next month. 22 Grand Slam titles, 14 of them at the French Open. He is immortalised with a statue at uh, Roland Garros after all those titles. The first one won just as a 19-year-old back in 2005, known, of course, as the King of Clay, but he did eventually conquer the grass of Wimbledon on a couple of occasions as well. That famous 2008 final, beating Roger Federer for his first title in the fading light on centre court. He is one of the greatest that the tennis world has ever seen in an era that so many of those greatest uh, played the game of tennis. And just Novak Djokovic, of those famous four, uh, still going. But at the age of 38, uh, Rafa Nadal has decided uh, via that uh, announcement, as you said on X, that he is going to retire in just a month's time. The last couple of years of his career, Cash, are really blighted uh, by injury. And he said that that is one of the reasons why he's decided to call it a day. Yeah, he definitely said it wasn't an easy decision. But 38, my God, Hugh, I am feeling old. Hugh Ferris there from the BBC. Sports Centre, thank you so much.